Welcome to day 10 of our 28 days of seeing Jesus clearly. Today we find Jesus talking to his disciples. Here we see in uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus says, What I tell you in the darkness, speak in the light, and what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim upon the housetops. Now listen, there's two amazing things in this scripture that I want us to focus on today. Maybe you caught it already, and I'm just reiterating what the Holy Ghost has spoken to you. Now, as you, as you read today, here, here's, here's like, I mean, this is really good news. Jesus, like we can, we can kind of really focus on the proclaiming upon the housetops part. But before you can proclaim, Jesus tells us here that we need to actually hear. Not only do we need to hear, he's promising us that we will hear. He didn't say you might hear. He, he didn't say if you ever hear anything, go and tell people. He says, listen, what I tell you in darkness, speak in the light. And what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim on the housetops. You hear God. I want to tell you that today. You hear God. God speaks to you in the quiet place. God speaks to you when it feels like there's darkness all around you and he's absent and you think there's no voice. There actually is a voice. Jesus talks to you in your personal life. This is the first promise in this scripture. You, you, we got to just put this out of our mind. I don't know if I hear God. No, no. You hear him. He's speaking to you. He's speaking to us, and we hear his voice, and he expects us to hear him. I mean, like, we need to, if we're going to see Jesus clearly, we have to understand that we hear from God. And the second part is, what he tells us is so good, he expects us to tell other people. He expects us to be the voice of God for other people. Now, not the voice of God in the, in the sense that we are God or we're speaking for God, but when we speak what Jesus has spoken, it still has the presence and power of God on it. So today, given these two truths that we read, that we hear God, and he expects us to tell people, today, use the name of Jesus in some conversation. Just at work or in the office or talking to family, just bring up Jesus in a conversation. You don't have to, you don't have to go into how people get saved or tell, no, no, just, hey, I was reading in my Bible about Jesus this morning and I, and I, and I feel good. Or I'm just expecting Jesus to talk to me or just work him in your conversation because we hear him and he wants us to share what we've heard. Why don't you share what you heard today with someone else that people can hear God and he expects them to hear God, and he expects us to tell others. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.